Hi people, welcome back to uh, Rob's isolation workout. When you uh, stuck at home in isolation and you've no way to train at a gym or anything like that. So if you want to join in, join in. I think this is workout either number seven or number eight. I'm going to do this all year, training calisthenic ways. So I'm a beginner now. By the end of the year I won't be a beginner and then you'll see a massive difference here. Massive difference here, massive difference everywhere. So we're in it together, we're in it from the start. As you know, if you've joined me in the past few workouts. Now I'm going to make it a little bit different today. Normally I do chin-ups, squats, press-ups, push-aways and all that and I do them in a row like that. Um, body's expecting that by now and what you've got to do when you're training is you've got to turn it around a little bit all the time because these get used to it and they know exactly what you're going to do. So I'm going to shock the body today. I'm going to do four sets of chin-ups. So the body will think I'm going from chin-ups to push-aways to press-ups but it'll get a shock today because I'm going from chin-ups to chin-ups to chin-ups. So it'll be shocked. I know what's coming but body done so I'll get some tunes on. Here we go, first set of chin-ups. Remember, as strict as you can. I'm going to go for 10. If I don't get 10, I don't get 10, but they're going to be strict ones. Here we go. Get some rubbish tunes on. Have a little breather, then I'm going to be sloppy, so I want to try and get to the top of that bar. Try to win, I want to win, but I want to win. Eventually, the bar wants to be in here, and then I'll be strong enough to do muscle ups, but that's a long, long way away. At least six months. <coughs> Remember, if you want in cardio, I don't do cardio, I do that separately. Today I went on a bike ride, so if you want cardio during these workouts, do that on your own. Go for a bike ride, go for a run, skip anything. Do that in between. You can do it on the same day, did back right today, so no not wrong with that. That's your first set. Hit that pause button, have about a minute and come back. Welcome back people, hope you've refreshed after that minute. Got some breath back into that body, had a bit of a rest. Here we go, set number two. Remember you're going for quality, not quantity, but if you can get 10, you're better than me. Go for it. But first, get them tunes on. I always forget my tunes. That won't one anyway. Come on people, get going. Four, four. How lousy is that? But listen, I weigh 15 stone and I'm 50 nearly. I'm quite proud of that. Six months though, six months time, we'll all be in it together. They'll be four sets of ten. Easy. This is why I'm making these videos, people, because people that are already there, are already professional, they make these fantastic videos and you just can't follow them because you're not there. These are from scratch, from the ground up. Stick with it and we'll get there. Seven. Seven, right, make a little breather, get three in then. And that's that way, that's how you build your tens up by just not giving in and carrying on. Got me three good ones though. You've got to get that bar to there eventually. You like my isolation cut? I do. Three more. Come on, people. This is where you just never give in. There we go, that's your second set of ten. Take uh, a minute and come back to me, hit that pause button. 
Welcome back people to uh, isolation COVID-19 workouts. Look at home, can't get to the gym. We're on set number three. If you'd like to join me, dig in, grit your teeth. Here we go, getting the chills on again. I keep forgetting the chills. Set number three, as many as you can. them out somehow but don't give in because eventually then fives will be tens and then tens will be twenties and then twenties will be thirties when I lose this <laughs> if I ever lose this <coughs> you can tell I've been in isolation can't you old edge gone come on Keep going. Ah, three, two more. It's just so hard when you have to get so high on bar. That's what's killing it. You know, you've got to get as high as you can. That's what gets all these little muscles in here and all these in here. So another thing I want to talk to you about as well. I told you to get a grip over a bar like that. Now there's a reason for that. A lot of people hang like that. It is easier when you hang like that. You can get loads out. But the problem is it brings a muscle into play that's in here. When you hang like that, instead of like that, it brings this little muscle in here. And what happens over time is you get really bad pain in your elbows and they won't go away. That's why we've got to get into holding it like that. They're harder, but they save this, this nerve. Important. Last two. That's uh, third set, wasn't it? Next set, seating five. One, I mean. Welcome back people, I hope you've only had a minute and that minute's quite important, it's just not quite enough time to fully recover but it's enough time to keep it, keep the old heart rate going which is the aim of this workout is to gain muscle and, and lean down a bit that's what the minutes rest for, must be a minute On the other workout you'll have to take five minutes because you can't get through it but on this one it's a minute, one minute Get <laughs> them chums on <laughs> Here we go Last set, come on. I stopped on five left then, let's see if I can stop on six. No, four. I need to stop there, they're getting really, really sloppy. Take a minute and we'll come back to the next exercise. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, people. Can you hear it? I remember this time, music. Right, we're going to go on to uh, underarm pull ups. This is uh, predominantly a bicep exercise. Um, quite a small muscle, so I'll do these now. Normally, we're going to end, but by that time, it's normally all fired out. So, we're going to try to do 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2. So your first set's 10, hopefully. See what I can get, but your first set's 10. Here we go. Good grip. Hook your thumb over your finger so that you don't let go of that bar.
for six and <laughs> loads. I'm going to go for two more to make it A and then the next time I'm going to go for six and not strong enough. So try and get two more. But remember I'm doing full and not, not doing any halves. I can fire loads out doing halves. Two more strict. That's me eight. Take a minute, come back and do six. See you in a minute. Welcome back people. Welcome to set two. We're going for six. Six good ones. He forgot it again, didn't he? Forgot his tunes again. Six. If you did ten, you're good. Well now you're going for eight. But I only did eight, so I'm going for six. Come on. Really tired. Two more. I've seen a bit. Welcome back people. I know you're thinking I've been down for a cup of tea and a biscuit but no honestly I've been a minute and we're back. So how many going for? I went for six last time we're going down in increments of two so we're going for four. Four good ones. So if I can get them down it's only four that's what you've got to get in your head. Four good ones. Get a good grip. Then, held them at top as well at the end. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to go away for one minute. See you in a minute, guys. Welcome back, people. Uh, uh, you've only. Uh, oh! <laughs> you haven't been for a cup of tea. That's been a minute, I hope. Right, last set, we're going for. Is it four? We'll pick it four anyway. Last set. It's actually two, but come on. The reason for sticking your feet out at the end is you get a slight little lab workout as well. So when the sets are so low like this, use the fact that you're only doing a small set to bring your abs into play as well because you know you could soon be over last one there we go have a minute we'll come back when we're doing uh, military press up see you in a minute welcome back people hope you've only had a minute we're now ready for the next exercise i ain't got a lot of room in this room so it's not the best um, best position to have camera in but it's low budget here it's all about training, raw training, that's it. There's no there's no fancy here. So we're gonna go into military press-ups. Now, what I wanna do with military press-ups is I wanna do 20, slow, but military as well, with the elbows tucked in and everything squeezing, your shoulders, your chest, everything. Now, if you do these slow and correctly, you, sh you shouldn't be able to breathe by any of these. So we're gonna do 20, have a rest, 15, have a rest, 10, have a rest, and then five, have a rest. But they're all gonna be that slow and horrible that they will uh, they'll really hurt. So, military press, here we go. So, you know score, shoulder width apart slightly, squeeze into the ground, when you press up, pull, the, when you press up front on a military press, 
Right, you, you're squeezing ground as if you try to grip the ground, even though you can't. And then you're trying to squeeze the ground that way as you push up. And instead of, instead of imagining that you're pushing your body up, you're not. You're pushing the ground away from your body. That's what makes these so terribly, terribly difficult. Right, you're not going from A to B. You're doing a lot of things. You're squeezing your ass cheeks, you're squeezing your legs, and you're squeezing everything. Right. So get your pointy toe, get your other body, squeeze the ground, get, make sure you're in the right position, and off you go. Squeeze everything. Back should be squeezed now. all the body that kills you. Then take a minute off, come back to do it 15. See you later, guys. Uh, welcome back, people. I hope you've only had um, a minute. Oh, get rid of that. And that's a minute gone. We're into his 15s now. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm not really having cups of tea. Honest. 15 good and military press. Squeeze everything, squeeze the ground that way. Push the ground out, don't push up. You know the score, you've done them before, but just uh, keep them tight and make everything hurt. That's why you can only get 15 out and not 100. All the body. And as well, lean over your arms. It just gets more top chest. Seven. Seven. See, I told you the rad. The rad when you squeeze, they're really hard. Three more people, three more. If you've done 15 straight off, well done. Don't forget to squeeze. It's that all the body, it's that. <laughs> Take it all out of you. 15. Ooh. Oh, that's burning now. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, people. We've had that minute off again. We're ready to go for. Set three for ten. Um, another good thing about training at home, I've just looked at the clock, it's half eight. Now normally, I don't know about your gym, but when you're training at my gym, they're, they're looking at you, giving you daggers because they want you home for quarter to eight. And you've only just walked in because you work till half seven. That's the beauty about training at home as well. It's half eight, I can train when I want. So I can get up tomorrow and I can train it morning if I want. That's the beauty about training at home. Right, let's go. Let's go for ten. It only took me uh, 40 years to realise. 10, come on. Remember that all the body, that. That's your all the body. And that's what makes all the difference, that's what makes it hard. All the body one. Ten of them. Now I don't know about you, how you're coping or how you're progressing, but I've noticed that they're better on me already. And I'm hoping that you should start to feel stronger on them too. You start to feel that control, that power, and you can feel every fibre what you're training. Whereas when we first started, we were just bouncing up and down. That's the good thing about training. It's all to do with muscle to mind to muscle connection. Anybody can, anybody can do this. Anybody can do that. Anybody. But there's no mind to muscle connection, that did absolutely nothing but just nearly break my elbows. 
mind to muscle, you feel every fibre of what you train and I even feel muscles in my fingers. That's mind to muscle and that's how you get big. People that say that calisthenics work out are rubbish. They don't, they don't get that mind to muscle connection, which is really important. You've got to squeeze every fibre and that's when you grow. And it's how you train in gym to be honest with you. I see people with 100 pound bench presses bouncing them off the chest. There's absolutely no mind to muscle control, none whatsoever. It's all about mind to muscle. So even if you do want to go to the gym, start with bar, don't bounce up your chest and really feel that bar and then progress. That, that way you get big. You might never get strong, but you'll get big. Take that minute, see you in a bit. Welcome back people, I've had a good minute off. We're going for the last set now of military press ups. We're going for five. Now because we're going for five, what's the golden rule? Go as slow as you possibly can. As if you've got all day, that's what makes it count. So it's not just five and we're wasting the time, it's five solid ones. And this is why I train like this now. This is why tonight this is it's going to be that progression so that you can get solid at what you're doing. Um, you know, there's no, there's no, you, you don't have to feel like you've got to get 10 out. So you're just doing stupid 10s. You, you know that you've only got five out so you can make them special. And that's training. That's how we're supposed to do calisthenics. Because then five will turn into six, then six will turn into seven, then seven will turn into eight. But they'll turn into good quality, strong. So you've only got five, so take time. <coughs> Squeeze the carpet, get in the position, all my body. Hold it. One. Two. Four. Hold it. Five. See the difference when you do that? That felt like 15. Right, take a minute and we're going to come back to close uh, tricep push ups. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back, after a nice minute. So we're going to uh, close grip tricep push now. Uh, it's quite an hard exercise this, so I think I'm going to go for 10, 8, 6, 4, that way. And we'll just progress from there. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Either way, we're getting stronger all the time, getting better all the time. And that's what training is, it's not all about being perfect. It's about progressing through the ranks. Which is why I make these videos, because I want people to see, you know, what you actually look like from day one, not what you look like at day 100. You want to see day one, right to day 100, and if you follow it, you know that you got there, to there, that's what I'm, that's what my aim is, so, here we go, get that music on, we're off to, 10, 10 close grip press ups, not looking forward to these now, pretty, pretty worn out to be honest, so the grip, I don't know if you can see it, as close as you can, over you, took your elbows in that way, that's the position, back up, Triceps definitely. Take a minute off, people. Come back for your eight. Welcome back, people. Hope you've had a minute off. Just a minute. Right then, we're going for eight. Close grip. I don't know if you can see that. You basically try and touch your fingers. And if you don't feel like you can do it, you just open them up a little bit like that. But you're aiming eventually for it to be strong enough to actually touch them fingers. Which I'm about that far away from a minute. But we will get there, we'll get there together. Eight. people I'll see you in a minute it's getting hard now welcome back people 
So this is a third set. So we're going for another ten. Look at it, ten dinner. We're going for sugar for eight. Fifteen. We'll go for. I've completely lost it now, but we'll go for eight. See, that's another thing that happens when you're training and you're old. Forget everything. I rewind and realise, but hey, here we go. Eight. Eight of them. I tell you where I struggle on these. I've got an old injury in here. It's an AC joint that I ripped. And when I do these, it absolutely niggles away. But one thing I will say about these, rather than niggling away in a, a terrible way, they niggle away in a way that everything's going back into proportion where it should be, everything's being forced back into position it should. Whereas when I'm training with a bar, that's as if it's being forced to half position. So both pins are totally different. This one feels better. This one feels like it's manoeuvring back to where it lives. So that's another good thing about calisthenics that I've noticed. I mean, apart from my ligament here, which I did skip another day, I'm virtually injury free. I'm never injury free in gym. So take a minute and come back for the last set of four. See if I can remember. See you in a minute, guys. Welcome back, people. I know you can't see me head there, but you can see the important bit. Look at that. Look at that. That's week three, I think. It's not even week three. Beats training, I'm telling you. Right then, we're going for four now. Yeah. You should be absolutely shattered now. If you're not shattered, this is something you're not doing right. You need to look at your style. Four. Remember, you've only got four, so go slow. Squeeze and triceps at the end. That's far. Right, see you in a minute. We'll come back, we'll do some pushy ways. Welcome back, people. Right, hopefully, you just had a minute. And uh, I've just adjusted the camera angle so that I get a better. so you can get a better idea of what I'm actually doing. These are called push ways, as you know. So we're going to try with a set of 10 or 15 see how we feel because it is it's the last exercise we are pretty blown away now and i don't know if you noticed know, the triceps before these because if i'd have done things for on this way training triceps would have been absolutely blown and wouldn't have been able to do them so here we go push away we're going for at least 10 or 15. you know the score guys start like a press up pushing a half pipe so you try to push your feet back onto the floor come down in a press and across one See, I'm more tired than I thought. Six. Four more. Take some I have noticed with these. I don't know if it's military press or I don't know if it's these. But my shoulders have been half improved. They used to be one of my weakest parts along with my chest. And now they've started to respond, which they never responded in the same way to training. So that's, that's some of Six. Come on. Pike. Ten of them. Whew, they're nasty then. Really don't like them. But what did I say about the exercise you don't like? They're good for you. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back once again, people. It's quite a long workout, this, I don't know if you've noticed. 
for this type of thing but it really really does get stuck into the muscles and like I say my muscles are screaming at the minute because they expected me to do it in all in a certain order but no nope, I wasn't having that I tricked it today and now they are screaming now the reason I did that is because I noticed that when I was doing the workouts you know the other day even though they were hard and I couldn't do them the muscles weren't responding in the same way they were hard but I just actually noticed that I wasn't getting that pump I wasn't feeling it as soon as you get that switch it doesn't matter what you're doing what stage you're at switch you'll know when you get it you, start, you, you, you feel it it's just the feeling you get now a lot of bodybuilders myself included get completely lazy because it's easy just to keep going and it's harder to switch because we're not we're, we're lazy we, we like to keep it comfortable so that's why I switched it tonight just to give them a bit of a shock and I'm really really glad it worked so here we go I'm waffling on let's do those eight into pike, press with your shoulders, and then press with your chest, shoulder press, pike, press with your shoulders, There's no hiding in them, I'm telling you, they're really cool. You can you can see your weaknesses in there. They really iron it all out. See you in a minute. Welcome back, people, if you're still with me. This is uh, second to last set, so we're nearly nearly there. So I want to see six pushaways now. I want to see that shoulder press. You dip into a press up and then you press out in the shoulder press. That's what I want to see. And that's when you're doing them properly. That's when you really, really, really hurt. I don't know if I'm showing them properly on here, really, but. If you don't properly, they're cool. So, up into pipe position. Press into that position. And then across, press up. Hi people, welcome back. I um, don't know how I'm going to do this video because I'm timed out on, on how long I'm allowed to record on my video so this might not actually turn up on the video but I hope it does because it's the last set. You'd be wondering what happened. Uh, I'll uh, try and get some technology involved if I splice it to the workout but here we go, the last set. Last but not least, we're going for four. Pushing ways again. Into the pike. Press down the shoulders, across and press up. One. Two. Four of them. That's it, we're done folks. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back guys, the reason I said I'll see you in a minute is I just wanted to uh, get some breath back into there and just really thank you for joining me if you're still with me on this journey. I mean, I don't know if you can see but already things are just starting to improve. Um, I'm starting to see things I didn't have before already and now I'm, I'm 49 going on 50. If, if you're 20 going on 21 then just imagine what this is going to do to you, honestly. Somebody told me to start gym years ago and I never, never, ever listened. And I just trained and trained and trained in gym blind. Don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed it. I've made some good games in gym. Um, but nothing like this, nothing like this. I, I, I feel better, I feel stronger, I feel fitter. Um, I, I can't wait to do it. Yeah, you just got to keep going and joining. Honestly, it's, it's probably one of the best things I've ever took up. And I'm really glad that we're in isolation. So stay safe. Have a day off. Now I went on bike today, I went I did 15 and a half mile, 
So I'm not going to do my squats today, but um, if you aren't being on a bike ride and doing any legs, then you need to do uh, 50 squats. So you've not finished yet, but I have. I'll see you um, in a couple of days. Thank you. Bye.